I am here in Oslo, Norway to ask Norwegians how they feel about their country recognizing Palestine as a state. It's great because uh, it um, uh, recognizes that uh, Palestine is a state and not just uh, people living in uh, Israel. How do Norwegians feel about October 7th? Uh, I don't know the date, sorry. How do Norwegians feel about your country recognizing the state of Palestine? I think it's good, but it's not good enough. Uh, our prime minister, he said in 2015 that if he was to be elected, he would recognize Palestine as a state. We are now in 2024, so it's on overtime. It's not enough to recognize. That's just uh, to silence the, the activists. I'm very happy because I heard the news that many other Europeans will follow the uh, follow the same as uh, Norway, Ireland and Spain. How do Norwegians feel about October 7th? I can only speak for myself. I can say that Palestinians has the right to defend themselves. Resistance is justified when people are occupied. Israel says they want to defeat Hamas. You cannot defeat an ideal ideology. You can defeat an organization, but Hamas is not an organization. It's the people, it's the spirit of Palestine. How do Norwegians feel about Norway recognizing well, Palestine as a state? Really many uh, likes it, you know. And how do Norwegians feel about uh, October 7th? Oh, oh, shit. Det er stort tema å snakke om, jeg tror det er sånn... Altså, jeg tror det går begge veier. Jeg føler at de egentlig bruker oktober den 7. som en unnskyldning for å, for å gjøre det de gjør mot palestinerne nå, da. How do Norwegians feel about the Norwegian government recognizing Palestine as a state? I think it's shameful. I think it's the wrong timing. But uh, I think I'm a little bit different than most Norwegians because I'm a Jewish Norwegian. How do Norwegians feel about October 7th? Unfortunately, a lot of people don't really think so much about October 7th anymore in Norway, I think. I try hard to remind them of it. After just an hour, we learned that many young Norwegians support Palestine over Israel. Their perspectives on October 7th varied. However, it appeared that the events of that day are not a primary focus in light of what is currently going on in Rafah. Thanks for watching.